run a weekend trip to Oxford. And Highclere Castle, better known as Downton Abbey. See you there. Just arrived now in Oxford. We've got about three hours before we get back on the coach. Uh, the weather's picked up now, so we'll just take it from there. Oxford is one of the oldest and most celebrated university towns in Europe and for centuries has rivaled Cambridge for academic prominence in England. The weather's picked up today, it has been raining for the last few weeks, so that's one good thing. We both decided now to go on a, a tourist bus, which will take us around Oxford. So we'll see a lot more places in the town we have here. on the cherry spots now. We're on for about an hour. Total trip. It's a hop on hop off. The trip costs 36 pounds. But we can get off on the ninth stop for an optional tour of a 45 minute guided tour and that's what we'll be doing. Poet Andrew, because I do poems on famous alumni who went to the colleges in Oxford. Um, Sakia Starmer, don't want Boris, I don't want Sakia Starmer. Now he went to uh, Teddy Hall, known as St Edmunds Hall. Accusing Sakia of breaking lockdown rule two tier, surmise in reality begins. This ex prosecutor, don't hang her but shoot her, was filmed drinking a bottle of beer. Returning from cellar, all in crates of Angela's favourite Stella, Raina decides to walk in. Pouting lips, sensuous grin, face hair growing on delicate chin. Let's all gather to play this board game. On the floor, it's Twister again. Spreading her legs, moving one arm. My turn next to spin for colour on card. Crossing her legs, red over blue, getting in practice for PMQs. Tory Mole informed Durham Police. Detailed account of party and feast. Not mud slinging, but mud singing. Rhyming in tune to the beat. Both jump up dancing to tiger feet. Question by police on what took place. So Keir Starmer, you smell a molten hops. You're a bloody disgrace. Thank you very much. So St John's Baptist College.
from towards the old Oxonian Way. Thank you very much, madam. Give me the thumb. They've travelled halfway around the world to come to Oxford today. They just need the old hearty Oxonian Way. Remember, that's the Oxonian Way. That's the Cambridge Way, because they're always behind us. Well, in a way, now, for my wonderful tourists today on the city summit in Oxford Torbay. Thank you, sir, madam. You're in the pink. It's a little way. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much, madam. We decided to, the rain stopped now, so I think we're going to go on to them pedals there. That should be a bit of fun. We've got a, what they call a punt on the River Chilwell. The run trip is about 30 minutes in total and it costs £20 each so £40 is not too bad. Very enjoyable 30 minute trip on a on a punt. Like I said the trip cost £40 for two which is very reasonable. I'd like to thank Alex for punting. I think I've got that right. So we'll finish off now, I don't know what we're in on. Just on our way now. It's a Radcliffe camera. It's a short walk up here. We was gonna go on the tourist bus but it's only one stop up so it's only a five minute walk so this alley to walk, it's nice and warm. As you can see, the sun is very bright, it's unbelievable. One minute it's pouring down, and the next minute it's hot. Well, that's the English weather for you. to Radcliffe Square, there in front of me is Radcliffe Camera, it's believed to be one of the most beautifulest on all the campus. The Radcliffe Camera is almost 300 years old.
beautiful square, very picturesque. I'm so happy the sun is out now. At least we've got a bit of footage. We're heading back now to bus stop number nine. We've got to head back to the coach. So we're getting off at uh, stop number 20. on the tourist bus now we're going to get off at uh, bus stop number 20 that's where the coach is picking up but if we've got time then we're going to have a cup of tea or a coffee Stop 20 now, so we're going to be picked up now by our coach. So we might have only been here three hours, but we've been on a tourist bus and seen quite a bit of Oxford. And uh, we went on a punt. I think that's the right name, isn't it, Susan? It is. That was uh, an experience, 30 minutes. I have to admit, I was uh, a little bit nervous because I'm not a very good swimmer. <laughs> it was so though. we was going to go for a drink, but we've not got time. So I'll say cheer for now. Trap. Bye. Where are we going, Susie? Down Highclere Castle has been home to the Carnarvon family since 1679. Built on an ancient site, the original house was recorded in the Doomsday Book. The present day castle was designed in 1842 by Sir Charles Barry. The architect also responsible for building the Houses of Parliament in Westminster. The castle's history also includes a fascinating connection with ancient Egypt, as the fifth Earl with Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in the Valley of the Kings in 1922. The castle houses an exhibition that commemorates this historic event, including some rare antiques from the fifth Earl's earlier Egyptian excavations. About to join the queue now. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to, to, to take any pictures or do any video footage inside the castle, so I'll see you on the way out. Ciao for now. 
Okay, so we've just left the house and it's exactly as you see it on the TV series. Um, two rooms downstairs that you don't see on Downton Abbey series are the gentleman smoking room and the ladies private sitting room which I heard the guide say when we were inside was actually Maggie Smith's private room for taking her tea when she first joined the cast of Downton Abbey. Also you go through the library which has been on many many um, scenes in Downton Abbey. That library contains over 5,000 books. Um, also on the way in a lot of you will remember the portrait of the little girl which is actually a portrait of a little boy that's on there as well. Um, you go around the upstairs um, of the house as well through all the bedrooms and then you exit by coming down the um, grand staircase just as Lady Mary did on her wedding day. Very me that. Uh, we also went to the um, Egyptian exhibition where the fifth Earl of Carnarvon and Howard Carter excavated the um, tomb of Tutankhamun in 1922. I can honestly say it's been a really really good day and I've been dying to get here for about 13 years. Downton Abbey lies in over 5,000 acres of estate. As you can see the views are amazing. This is a statue of Capability Brown, 1716 to 1783, he was a gardener and a landscape designer. The famous bench in a lot of Downton Abbey scenes where different members of the cast have laid out their troubles in different scenes underneath the big tree. Any Abbey Downton Abbey fan will know this is the place where Lady Edith used to run to in her fits of upset. fantastic day at Downton. We're just enjoying a snack and a drink and the sunshine before we depart for home. It's been a fantastic weekend. It's a weekend. Cheers. Cheers.